awake? How do you communicate with light? And how does light communicate with you, right? Um, in terms of practices, you know, again, I go back to core practices, river of light, <clears throat> river of light and awakening infinite radiance. They are creating the ground for your consciousness to be able to have an increasingly high fidelity interaction with light. So it's not like, what is the mobile phone number for light so I can call it, right? You have to have the quality of consciousness to have good contact with light. So to, that requires daily clearing, right, of our inner space. That's in fact the bulk of it. When you do that, and in fact, even guided meditations like tasting infinity, like light emanation, they get us into a place where we are engaging with light more and more. The more you engage with light, even if you feel like there's nothing going on, but you still engage with it, you'll start seeing time to time something is different. The, the, what used to be subtle is now more apparent, right? And you feel that more and more strongly, and that continues to build. So, like I've said before, light is the best guide on even how to work with light, <laughs> right? This is a bootstrapping function for those who you go into programming and stuff. You can bootstrap a piece of code. You can, you can ask light, how do I work with you? It's a perfectly fine question. And, and light will answer back in ways that you are currently ready to receive, right? Uh, for some people, it might be you have a conversation, you know, you're waiting for pizza and you have a 30 second conversation. That was the answer you're looking for. So light has used that situation to tell you that. Or it might be a book you run into or a YouTube video or increasingly in your own inner space. When you choose light, life becomes increasingly joyful, purposeful and inspired. I invite you to join me to explore the realms of light, the infinite possibilities that light offers.